Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be trying out a bunch of new products that are from Patrick Star. There's also a Gucci foundation that I had recently purchased, but I got a new shade in it. And then I've got some Tarte and also some Patrick Top. So if you're new here, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting that subscribe button and then also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out new content. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my Gucci primer. This is a Gucci matte primer. I really like this primer because because it keeps me matte. It also kind of smooths my skin out. So I've been really, really enjoying this. I am trying out some other new matte primers, but this one's been my go-to. So I'm just putting this all over my skin. This is such a good primer for that Gucci foundation. The foundation is a little bit on the watery side. It's a little bit more, I would say it has a little more slip to it. So that's why I like to use the Gucci matte primer all over my face. I'm gonna go in with the Sephora eye primer. So I wanna do my eyes first before I actually do my foundation. I'm using a new eyeshadow palette, so I definitely wanna make sure there's no fallout. And if there is, I can easily clean it up because I haven't done my foundation. So I am trying the new Patrick Ta palette. This is the Major Dimensions 2 palette. I do have the Major Dimension, the original, and I really do love it. But the these shades here are just a little bit more intense than the original palette. And so I wanted to definitely try this today. Of course, there's two cream products here. I do wanna use maybe the lighter one in my crease. I'm gonna start with this lighter cream product, putting a little bit on my brush, and then I'm just going to, oh wow, that is intense. Why don't we just put this all over the eye and then we'll add shadow on top of that cream product. This is really intense. It's really pretty though. You can honestly wear this on its own. I think I might've gotten too much, but okay. I'm just gonna press that product onto the eyelid and then I'm kind of blending it into the crease and I'm going a little bit above the crease with this. So I'm just kind of shearing it out with the brush. So that's gonna be like kind of a base that I'm gonna to use today. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this shade. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just going to actually blend that in the crease and kind of like on the outer corner. The cream shade that I used actually looks like a little bit lighter in the pan, but when I put it on my eyelid, it's like kind of rosy. And then I'm gonna add a deeper tone. I'm gonna add this tone right here, and I'm just gonna focus that just on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go in with this shimmer and I'm going to put that all over the lid and then kind of bring it into that darker shade. Wow, that's really pretty. The eye look is a little bit more intense than what I wanted to do today. Cause I'm actually just gonna be running errands. I'm not gonna be doing anything special, but it still turned out to be a really nice look. And the shadows are just like performing as I thought they would. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shadow here and I'm just going to run that on top of this shadow just to kind of blend everything out. All right, so this turned out really nice. I do like the way the shadows look. I love the shimmer of the color that I put in there. So they perform just like I expected them to. I love the Patrick Ta, the original Major Dimensions palette. It's one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, so I'm really glad that but this one worked out as well. So now we're gonna go in with the Gucci foundation. I did get a different shade. I got 280C. Now C is a cooler tone type foundation, but when I went to Sephora, she said they ran a little warm. So we tested them out and 280C was like the perfect shade for me. I had originally bought like 240W or 260W then I went up to like 310 and the shades just were not working for me. So that's why I went back to Sephora to get my correct shade because before I really didn't test it, I was just kind of, you know, looking at the display and picking out what I thought would match. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the 280C. And as you can see, it has a little bit more warm undertone. I love this foundation, guys. I love the consistency of it. I love the wear of it. It just looks so beautiful. So it is a watery foundation. You have to shake it up really well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna go in with my brush. I'm just gonna press it onto the skin. I hope this works for me because like I said, it is difficult finding my shade. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now this doesn't give like a full coverage. It gives more of like a medium coverage. When you shake it up, it's not that liquidy. It's when you don't shake it up that it looks really, really liquidy. This is the perfect shade for me. It looks a little bit light on camera because the 
the lights are like right in front of me. But to be honest, when I'm not in front of the light and I just look at the mirror, it's a really good shade for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Tarte Shape Tape on. And with this one, of course, I need a little bit more because like I said, it's just a medium coverage. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I did buy a new Conceal the Deal Lawless Concealer. The shade I had before was way too light, so I went with this shade. I'll put the shade right here. This is, like I said, a newer shade. It's a little bit darker, which I like. I did use this yesterday, and I loved the way it looked under my eyes. So I'm just gonna take a brush and blend that out. Yeah, this stayed on my under eyes. It looked really smooth, sets really nicely with powder. Um, what I do like to do with this is I do like to let it sit for a little while before I powder it. I just feel like it sets better when I do let it sit for a while. When I say a while, I only mean like a couple minutes. I did my eyebrows earlier, guys, and I used my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat and it's in natural black. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a minute and then I'll come back and we'll powder up and then we're gonna try some new Patrick Star products. All right guys, so I'm gonna set it with the Givenchy. This is the Rose Voila powder. I usually take a little bit, then I pat it on the back of my hand and then whatever is left, I set my under eyes with that. The Lawless concealer sets really nicely with that powder. And for my foundation, I am gonna set my skin with the Gucci powder. I have the shade seven and 10. Now seven is a shade that I would actually use like during the winter months. And then 10, 10 is a little bit darker, which I actually need now, you know, just to kind of warm up the face. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the number 10 powder. And I'm just pressing it into the skin. This powder is so nice on the skin, guys, and it goes perfectly with this foundation. It also goes well with a lot of foundations that I have in my collection. It makes my skin look really soft, very smooth. I'm super excited because I'm finally trying the One Size Bronzer from Patrick Star. I have not used this bronzer, but I think it's gonna look so pretty on the skin, or at least I hope it is. But yeah, I haven't tried the bronzer, but I'm really excited to try it today. I think I'm gonna start off with this middle one here and just see how that looks on my skin. And if I need to go a little bit darker, I will. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, let me do the other side. This is very pigmented, so be very careful not to go in too heavy handed. Oh, that's so pretty. I think I want to deepen it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to go in lightly because I'm kind of afraid this thing is pigmented. Okay, I like that shade too. Now, it is darker, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna mix the two and go on my chin, go down my neck a little bit. This is the Medium Dark Trio, and I do like the way the Medium Dark looks on me. They look a little bit more like my tone. I felt like if I was gonna get the Medium, they're gonna be a little bit more on the ashy side, and I didn't want that. If my skin looks gray, I'm not having it. This is simply gorgeous on the skin. I actually purchased two of the blushes. I'm not sure which one I want to try today. This is the Rich Betch, which I think is really beautiful. It does have a cream blush in it and then two powder. And this is more like a kind of a natural nudie tone type blush. The other one is very that. This is the cream one and these are the uh, powders. This is more of a peach tone palette. It looks peach and pink, but it's really pretty. So let me see. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go in with Rich Betch. Okay, so we're going to go in with this one really, really lightly because I heard these blushes were super pigmented. So I've got some on my brush. I am gonna tap a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna hit the cheeks. Oh yeah, see, that is very pigmented and I even like tapped it on the back of my hand. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm gonna do kind of the Patrick Ta technique and I'm gonna put a little bit of the cream blush on top. Not that I need it, cause I don't need it, but I just want to see how this cream blush goes on and it's pigmented. So I'm just going to tap that on the back of my hand and then I'm going to put on the cheeks. Oh, 
So yeah, that cream blush is pigmented as well. But guys, it is so pretty. So you could wear the cream blush by itself if you're wanting to have like that more, maybe a little bit dewier look and not use the powder or you can use them together or you can just use the powder. Cause either way, these are gonna come out beautiful on the skin. They're just really pigmented so you have to be very careful. And because I went in a little heavy handed, I did purchase another one size powder from Patrick Star, and this is the shade. This is the medium dark one. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna use this one today, but I wanted to show you guys. I usually use, I think it's 4G, and this one is medium dark 1NG. So it's like a neutral golden. Look how pretty. And I think this would be really beautiful to set my entire face. So I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna get my 4G one. And I'm going to actually tone this down a little bit with that one. So this is the 4G and I love this. This is in medium. It is way lighter than the other one. This one's good for me when during the winter months when I'm not tanned. So yeah, so I'm just gonna use this to press it into the skin right here just to kind of tone down the cheeks. love this powder i just swatched the medium dark one and i think it's going to be perfect for an all over setting powder highlighter i'm going to use today is the tarte rose gold glow during the sale this thing was sold out at most of the sephora's that are near me i finally found it and i went ahead and purchased it and picked it up at another sephora but this is it right here look how gorgeous that is i'm going to swatch it so you guys can see the shade swatched and then i'll put it on my skin this is what it looks like and it's not super rose gold. It doesn't have a lot of pink to it. And that's why I liked it, because it has some rosiness to it, but it leans more on like the gold side. So yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to place this on the tops of my cheeks. And do you see how well that blends? It looks so pretty with that blush. I stopped putting a uh, highlighter on my nose. As a matter of fact, I started putting blush on my nose and I forgot to do it but I put a little bit, whatever was left on my brush, I put it on my nose. And I just love the way that looks. Now I don't go crazy or ham with the blush on my nose, but I put just a tiny bit. Okay, so I've got this lip liner called Versatile Chestnut and it's by Makeup Forever. I swatched this in store and it was so pretty. So that's a swatch right there. See, it's like a kind of a warm brown tone. These are so creamy, guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia lipstick. This one's in Haze. I bought this and I loved the shade of it. It's a very light shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on here gently because I don't want it to look like too opaque. The formula feels super creamy compared to what they used to be. And the lip gloss I'm gonna try today is the Patrick Ta Pouty. Pouty's one that I just recently purchased. I love these glosses. They make your lips look very nourished. They make them look nice and plumped, but not in the way where your lips look like overly plump. They don't have that much effect on your lips, but they do make them feel like they're plump and nourished. They have a slight, like tingling effect, but not so much where it's like bothersome. Really love their lip glosses. All right guys, so that's it for me trying a lot of these new products. So we're gonna go over them very, very quickly. As you guys know, I have already tried the Gucci. I do wanna mention again that this is a new shade. It looks really nice on my skin. I love this foundation. It lasts, and like I said, it is a medium coverage, but even so, I still love it. So I really am enjoying this. I was using the other shades till I found this shade, but I have tried this foundation out quite a bit and I really do love it. For the Anastasia lipstick, I only got one during the sale because I was afraid that if I got more than one that I wasn't gonna like the formula and I really do like the formula now. I feel like it's like a lot less drying than what she used to create. So yeah, this one felt really good on the lips. It didn't like feel like it was tugging or pulling. 
the pigmentation for this lipstick is really good. So yeah, I might check out a couple more shades of this. Yeah, I really ended up liking it. The one size bronzer, guys, this is so, so pretty. I'm super impressed with how the shades look on my skin. I think these shades are like perfect. Again, this is the medium dark palette. I didn't get the medium because I felt like the shades might be a little bit too ashy for me. And these were like a lot more warm tone shades. Now with this and the blush, you have to be careful because he did make these very very pigmented which is not a bad thing because if you think about it you're using less product so it's gonna last you a while I really am loving these bronzers and they went on so beautifully on the skin same thing goes for the blushes the cream blush is beautiful the powder blush is beautiful I didn't try the topper today because I felt like I had a lot on already but I will be trying it very soon I might just try it on its own or if I wanted to I could add some on the top of the powder blush and make it a little bit more shimmery. But yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous cheek palette. I can't wait to try the other one. I also ended up purchasing two more, but this one is really nice. I think it's beautiful. It didn't skip. It didn't like cause like patchiness. It just looks really nice on my cheeks. And then for the Lawless Concealer, like I said, I got a darker shade. I do love this concealer. I don't think that it's a super full coverage concealer. I do believe that you can build it up to a full coverage but today I didn't do that but it does cover up like the dark circles and it looks really smooth under the eyes so yeah I'm gonna be testing this out a little bit more like I said I've only worn it one other time besides today and then for the Tarte Rose Gold Glow I love this I have not wanted to use highlighters here lately because I was going for more of a kind of like a softer like sheen type highlighter and I really think this delivers that. I don't think it delivers like that, you know, like a super glowy look. I think it delivers like a really beautiful, like soft sheen highlight. It looks like it kind of just melted into my cheekbones. So yeah, I'm loving this. And last but not least is the Patrick Ta palette. <sighs> This palette, guys, so good, so, so good. I wish that I wouldn't have applied the cream product so that I could actually see like these shades on their own, but either way, the look came out really nice. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. I think that if you want more intensity, you could go in with your finger, but I think even with the brush, it gave a really nice intense look. Oh my gosh, these are so, so pretty. I'm loving these, I really am. And like I said, I loved his original palette. I love a lot of things from Patrick Ta. I think he is one of the best makeup artists out there. The looks that he comes up with and his products. Yeah, I am really gonna be enjoying this all throughout summer. I think these shades here like kind of deliver that summer bronzy tone type of feel. Simply beautiful and the shades worked beautifully on the eyelid and yeah, I'm gonna be using this for a while now. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And like I said, I hope you guys subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.